Right, well, good evening, everybody. <laughs> it has been a while since you've seen my ugly mug on your screens. Um, and I just want to take this opportunity, to, first of all, to thank everybody that sent me a message asking if I'm all right. Um, you know, I've done this before. I've gone into little bits of wallows and whatnot, but that is not the case this time. Just life has got in the way. Um, I had my mother and father-in-law's 30th uh, wedding anniversary vow renewal. Um, dad's been poorly in and out of hospital. Uh, kids have been poorly. Danielle's been at work. I've been at work. So it's just been one of those things. It's been like over a month since I last camped. The, the last camp was actually up in Scotland in Forest. Um, so yeah, a hell of a long time ago. But I'm back uh, and hopefully camping regularly again now. Uh, we shall see. Uh, so yeah. Uh, tonight I'm hammock camping with Dan, English woodsman. Uh, he's set up just behind you there. We're on a bit of a local permission woodland, which I'll show you a little bit of footage of if I can. Um, but yeah, just gonna chill out in my hammock for 10 minutes because it's been so long since I've been in one. Here we go, Dan's here just set up his uh, Pomoli Lone Wolf 902 hammock hot tent. Uh, and as you can see, they're building away. I've not got uh, a stove as yet, but I'm having one built, so hopefully I'll be able to bring you that to the channel soon. Right, show you my setup. So tonight I'm in a complete one wing setup. Yeah, so the one wing tarp over the top, where you can sort of close the, the doors down at, on either end. Uh, the under quill and hammock quill, which I've left all in situ to make it easier for me to set up. Put them all in one big sort of compression bag. Uh, just underneath there you can see the gear sling swinging away uh, with my backpack in there. But yeah, that's the one wind entire setup. Right, I really am going to chill out for 10 minutes now. See you soon. Right then, I've just uh, prepped my stove. This is English Woodsman's stove. Very designed and built. I'm just going to put the kettle on. Yeah. 
Right then, I've just put my stove on. Put the transier on inside uh, the English woodsman's stove. I'm just going to get some water, put it in here, and then use my fish eye spreader to retrieve it. I'm going to have a quick coffee and a pot noodle as a snack. Still only early, still only about four o'clock. So I'll bring you back in a minute. Right, well, we've let that kick in. I'm just going to put some water on now. Want enough for a, a brew and a quick pot noodle. Awesome. Give that under close up properly. Awesome. Now it's leave that for a few minutes. Yeah, just while that, that's gone, oh, turn off. Yeah, just while that's uh, boiling away, I just thought I'd bring you back to tell you a little bit about what's been going on. Um, so, in scouting, I've been sort of promoted, I guess, <laughs> with the same zero money. Um, I'm now squirrel section lead um, of my local group, and also what you would call the Akela. Um, of the same group uh, but I don't call myself a killer on that because uh, I just think it, it sort of empowers hierarchy and I'm not about that it's about I'm in it for kids and I'm not in it for you know I'm the boss and you do as I say type thing it's I'm in it for kids and we want to work alongside we've got a great team at the minute um, all willing to share ideas and and just sort of bring the group forward really and put on a, a good scouting programme for the kids so yeah so squirrels and cubs have a, a new section uh, still involved with the old section that I was with um, so yeah all, all, all's good <laughs> so it's been a, a very very busy boy so obviously with all that starting and getting things I've just not had time to come out and make the videos and do the campaign and what so again all those that have messaged me and sort of said are you alright blah blah I know you can get like this you know, um, I'm absolutely fine. Uh, just a very busy man. <laughs> uh, Dad was poorly. Again, he, um, we were due to have the wedding vow renewal. It had been cancelled twice due to COVID. And a couple of weeks before it, he got admitted to hospital with COVID. Uh, he couldn't write it, could you? Um, and he went into hospital. A bit of touch and go for a while. We up in his pressures, up in his oxygen. Just not good. Um, and then he managed to get out 23 hours before the ceremony um, and then on the day he just did the bare minimum you know he did the, the ceremony, he did the, the cake cutting, did the first dance and then he retired to bed um, had a, a week or so at home and then went back into hospital for a couple of days so yeah that's been going on um, we've been working a lot both myself and my wife uh, just Obviously, working. You know, we both work for the NHS, so we've we've got to go to work. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's it. Scouting. My dad, or my mum, mother-in-law as well. She's just had a, a hip replacement operation. Uh, that went well. She's just got back home two, three days ago. Two, two days ago. Yeah, that went well. She's sort of healing, but hobbling. <laughs> But yeah, that's all that's been going on. No, it's been wrong. Just obviously little things and just sort of stopping me from getting out. But yeah, thank you for those of you that took the time to message me and check that I'm all right. And as you can see, I am. I have just missed camping. I can't wait to get in this later on. <laughs> oh, right. Let's uh, check on this water. Right, let's have a quick check on this. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Right, let's get that off. Maybe not there, that's quite a... That'll do donkey, that'll do. Right, let this noodle. Okay. 
Bomb bear, bad boy. Perfect. Awesome. Right, let's go and enjoy this. I just come to uh, visit Dan. Um, in his hot tent while I had that pot noodle and the coffee just to sort of warm me up a little bit because it is getting really cold I don't know if you can hear the wind and the rain on the outside of Dan's tarp uh, it's not going too bad it's not so I won't write home about just yet but the forecasters said that we might get a little bit more snow and sleet later on uh, and winds picking up to about 20 to 25 miles an hour not the worst we've been out in but still can be uh, in for a rough night's sleep with stuff like that When's that going to come? Later on tonight, it's at about 8 o'clock, isn't it? There we go. Mm. Can you hear it now? Can you hear it? Oh yeah. Because I've had this problem, I've not been noticed all <laughs> Um. Yeah, Dan's just had a, a bit of an issue with his food. <laughs> no. He, he can go across and uh, watch that and see how he's sort of improvised, adapt and overcome his little uh, problem. Uh, but yeah, um, just while we're on that subject, I feel a little bit out of sync at the minute. It's been that long since I've come out camped and done the video, it's just... I'm not quite at the level that I were at, and then... So I need to get back to it. Just a matter of practice. You know, I'm only human. There's a song in there somewhere, isn't there? <laughs> I'm only human after all. <laughs> but yeah, uh, right, I'll bring you back shortly. <laughs> You're like a child doing that. <laughs> Across the problem, you're going to laugh at this. I've had to borrow Scott's pot noodle tub, and I've taken the mussels out of every one of the shells, and I'm left. You want to grab that, Scott? Thank you. I'm left with them in the bag, but in the cup, there's still the juice. So all we're going to do is pour them in there like that and then warm them up that way. Come on, we sorted that problem out. <laughs> That's all we were going to do anyway, wasn't it? You just sit there and bite them out of the shell. So I basically picked them out of the shell, put them in the juice, job done. Do you know what we'll do? I think we'll add some of the chilli sauce to this. Right then, I'm just going to start doing some prep for my evening meal now. Uh, it's been a couple of minutes for you, but been a couple of hours for me. Uh, so some pilau rice, some fresh mint, and I'll say fresh, it's in a bag in it. Coriander, uh, a red bell pepper, don't need that many, but an onion, tomato, and some steak mince. And I've obviously brought my little curry pouch with me as well so I'm going to make myself a nice curry to warm me up in this cold weather if you can hear the rain on the tarp uh, it's not coming down overly heavily at the moment but uh, heavy enough so I'm going to do some prep work and then uh, start cooking
just while this is uh, finishing off, I'm just going to add in this. So this is Naga Chickle Pilly. Now, when we went up to Scotland, Matt, who we went to visit, oh, I didn't up under it. Got me onto this. Added it into the tea that he cooked me. You can see how the remnants on the jar. But it's absolutely beautiful. If you like spice, go and get a tin. It's uh, Naga Pickle Chili. Yeah, Matt Powell, uh, he's got his own YouTube channel now called Matt's Mindful Meals. I'll leave a link in the description to that. Go and check him out. Uh, quality guy. I'll be honest, I've not seen his latest video, although it was released yesterday. Been a little bit busy. But he's made a couple of amazing videos already. The channel's grown immensely. First couple of weeks, so well done, Matt. But yeah, there's a link in the description to go and check him out. Please do. Right, give that a few more minutes. So at one point it looked like I'd burnt this, and now it looks like I've salvaged it. Look at that, it looks immense, doesn't it? Would you pay for that in a restaurant? Let me know in the comments. It's amazing what you can come up with in the woods. Just a little bit of time and effort, and a little bit of forward planning. Amazing. It's getting to look rather, rather tasty. Can't decide whether to add the rice in or not. I don't know if the rice will just fill it out too much. Yeah, I'll take the rice home, I think. Yeah, cooking this on a, a like a bush box style stove. What do you reckon of that? Is it worth a thumbs up for this video? What do we reckon of that, people? Oh, I think I've done a bad job there at all. See if I can show you a bit better. There we go. Right then, I would call this ready, so I'm going to go and sit and eat this with Dan. I'll see you in a few minutes. Well, I demolished that curry. And now I'm just sat in the hot tent with Daniel. Well, say I'm sat, he's swinging. Look. <laughs> got a bit scared we were going to go too close to his stove there uh, but yeah so we're just going to sit chill put world to rights have a catch up because I've literally not seen you in about six weeks is it five six weeks yeah it's been heaven cheeky cat <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah we're going to have a bit of a catch up uh, and a couple of drinks so I'll uh, see you soon Well, as you can probably hear, the wind and the rain have uh, picked up again. I've uh, just managed to get my sleep suit on. I'm out of practice, so I completely. It was a bit of a struggle. Oh. Yeah, well, good night. I, I'm nice and toasty already. Uh, again, we've got the sleep suit on. Got the one wind, top coat, poncho and undercoat. Yeah, the tarp I've seen seen at both ends. Uh, although we're, we're up off the floor, there's a lot of airflow underneath. Um, it's helping to keep a couple of degrees warm thing just by sort of shutting the doors in the air, on the ends. So yeah, uh, it's uh, been a cold night. We're in Dan's hot tent for a couple of hours, having a couple of drinks. Finished my curry obviously in there. Uh, but then I was getting too climatised to it, and last time I did that, I struggled to get warm again when I tired to my own pit, so uh, we came out for a walk. So yeah, unless anything exciting happens, I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. It's a little after 6.30am and I have slept like a baby. <laughs> I have missed being outside. 
temperature's been down as low as minus one apparently. I went on um, the top quilt and the quilt combination and the sleep suit just been at a, a warm temperature all night long. Although I've slept well, I'm going to have about another half hour, I think. Can you get wind? Oh, I'll set the tarp as well. You can hardly feel it. It does sort of bellow out a little bit in the wind, but I'm not getting any sort of backdraft or anything like that, so. Right. Uh, another power half hour. Well, welcome back everyone. It is now past eight o'clock, and I've been there here because it just sounds too cold out there. Not heard from Dad as yet. He down in sort of messages me and says you up, but he ain't done as yet, so I'm not sure he's awake as yet. Well, I suppose I'd better message him and see if he is. <laughs> See you in a bit. Well, I suppose I better start moving, aren't I? So, I've mentioned earlier that I'm in my sleep suit. And the sleep suit consists of this smock, um, some SP6 pants, and then some snug feet. But then I've had these on tonight as well. Let me get these on. So this is uh, the Yeti uh, Merino wool sock from Feet and they have been an absolute game changer. The snug feet are normally quite warm on my feet but with the socks on as well. Instead of like a normal sort of pair of socks. It's come about halfway up my shin, it's been absolutely ideal. Uh, keeping my feet warm. So I suppose I better get out of my sleep suit, get dressed again, and then tear this lot down. I think it's just going to be a, a stop, drop, and roll this morning, though. It's not going to be putting away properly. It's all wet. It's going to need to be aired out when I get home anyway. So it's just going to be, yes, yeah, stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> Good old fire advice. Right, let's move. Time for me to get out of here. As you see, I've just stopped, dropped, and rolled. Thrown everything in the bags, ready for off. Uh, been another great night. But again, I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone that sent me a message asking if I'm okay, and if I need someone to talk to, anything like that. You know, you, it really does mean a lot to someone as humble as me. So thank you very, very much. You have completely humbled me again. Uh, but yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to the channel by pressing this in the middle, and I'll leave some more videos either side for you. See you guys in the next one.